Every airplane accident appears in the news, whilst not every car accident does. For this reason, some people have a fear of flying, even though statistically, air travel is the safer form of transport. This being said, air travel isn't all silver linings. Here are 10 of the worst things that can happen to you on an airplane. No before you go! Number 1. Crying Babies I know it's not the baby's fault and that most parents try their hardest to comfort their baby and not irritate other passengers. My problem is with the parents who do nothing, who ignore their baby as if a plane flight is the perfect time to experiment with the Ferber method. Number 2. Odour some people lack basic common decency. They're quite happy to get in an enclosed area with 100 people without even checking their body odor. The three most common you'll experience are old cheese, Kirby onions and warm spit on a radiator. Number 3. Seating just because you order four tickets at the same time doesn't mean you'll be sat together or even in the same row. Low-cost air companies will take weight distribution into account to lower fuel consumption. Number 4. Air Conditioning even though aircraft nowadays are extremely high-tech, it seems that the climate control systems are not. Most only have two settings to choose from, Arctic Winter and Off. Number 5. Not enough food. Being hungry on a flight isn't Aww. enjoyable. So you pick an overpriced sandwich that looks edible and order it only to be told they have run out. So you choose the only available option, which inevitably tastes like you've had a face full of garden. Number 6. Oversized. The person in front of you as you board the plane will be short and have very big and heavy hand luggage which they will be unable to put in the overhead lockers. While it is frustrating to have to wait whilst they finally manage to stow it, it's funny to watch when it happens to someone else. <laughs> Number 7. Using the bathroom Having to get up and ask people in your row to let you out, then do the walk of shame down the aisle to the bathroom, only to find a queue, you wait, finally you enter and then find an alien toilet you have no idea how to use. 7.1. Having the runs. See step 7 and repeat. 7.2. The guy next to you has the runs. Similar to 7.1, although narrowly less annoying. Number 8 chatty neighbor you've had a long day you got to the airport on time checked in caught the flight and now just want to sit back and disconnect the guy next to you however has other plans he's decided that you really need to know what he's been doing with his life number nine aisle blocking Every flight, as soon as the plane lands, people stand up straight away. The door isn't even open. We're still taxiing to the gate. It's like they're in this mad rush to wait for their baggage. Number 10. Seat etiquette. There are some unwritten rules about seat usage that everyone knows but fails to follow. These are no reclining, even though for some reason they do have the ability to do this. No kicking, kneeing or putting your feet right under the seat in front of you. No messing around with the fold away tray unless you're going to eat. No pulling on the seat in front of you to help you get up, no matter how fat you are. What annoying things have happened to you on a plane? Comment below.